the fuck? Fucking Ruby. This should be fun. Hey, so, don't freak out. Where's the wine? Um, okay. On the table? Well, that sounds like a good idea. Why don't we all um, have a glass of wine? Ruby, cut the shit. Why are we all here? What the fuck are these doing here? Um, I have a proposition. Since none of you are capable of talking to each other these days without running away, I thought. What if you couldn't? Like, would we all sit here and say everything we wanted to say to each other? And then no matter how ugly it got, we'll just sit here and listen. Then maybe so you could find your way back together. You gotta be drunk. <laughs> I'm a little tipsy, it's not the point. Yeah, definitely not interested in whatever this is. Yeah, I'm with Zoe on this one. Huh. That's a first. What's your fucking problem? I don't know, maybe it has something to do with the person sitting across from me. And I'm out of here. Mia, wait. No, let her go. She always runs away from her problems. Hey, it's not entirely true. I guess I could be more like you and just walk around doing whatever the hell I want, not giving a shit about anybody else's feelings. Maybe you should. You might actually get what you want. Thanks for the advice. I'm out of here. Sounds like a plan. Enough! I planned this because I'm sick of being caught in the middle of all those crap between you three. Like, what the hell happened to us? I can't be the one friend you all talk to when you all want to talk shit about each other. So either we fix it now or we all move on. So it's this or that. Okay, why not? I'm gonna need another drink. Zoe, please, for me. <sighs> Fuck it. So, what do we do now? Talk? Remember <laughs> how easy that used to be? And that becomes so difficult. So, quick question. Did you get these specifically for this, or did you already own these? <laughs> it's not important. Maybe you and Adam should try these. Might help. What the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing. Just you two have been together a while now. I thought it might be a good idea. We're fine. Thanks. Okay. So, anyway, speaking of you and Adam, I can't believe you guys have been together for almost four years now. I remember all those times in college when we went speed dating. <laughs> um, I remember both of us wanted the same guy. Mm -hmm. And of course he chose you, because he always get what you want. To be fair, we did ask him to choose. You asked him to choose. <laughs> Honestly, I did you a favor. That guy turned out to be a complete idiot. Thanks for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At least you guys had better luck than Zoe and I. We got so bored, left halfway through, and went to get tacos. What did happen to us? We used to be bulletproof. We grew apart. It happens all the time. Didn't happen with you and Ruby. Just. Me and I. And why do you think that is, Luna? Look, Zoe, Luna and I have our own issues, mainly because she's one of the most selfish people I've ever met. Hey! With you, it's different. You can't even stand to be in the same room as us anymore. It's like 
You seem to forget that you're a part of the problem, too. Just to remind you, because I know you have a selective memory, but you're not the easiest person to be around. I know you find this difficult to believe, Zoe, but we do love you. But you have got to be one of the most judgmental people I have ever met. You can't let things go, and you just sit with it and let it eat you alive. I'm sorry I hold people accountable for their actions. Trust me, I'm getting a lot better at letting things go. But it's real simple. You two weren't there for me when I needed you, so I was no longer going to be there for either of you anymore. I'm sorry about that. I really am. But you're not the only one who's lost and been disappointed, Zoe. I've been in this constant state of confusion over the last two years. Like, I look in the mirror and I don't even recognize myself. The weird thing is, is that sometimes I feel joyful about that, but then terrified because I know I'm going to have to leave some people behind. You see, your problem, Zoe, is that we could apologize to you for the rest of our lives and it still wouldn't be enough. We can't turn back time, Zoe. You're right. We can't turn back time. But we can still try and fix this. If you three actually want to. I do. Yeah. And yeah, me too. Zoe? <laughs> Your phone? Yeah. Are you gonna answer it? How do you expect me to answer it? Uh, yeah, stuff are kidding me. Uh, yeah. Toby, I don't think this is working for me. I gotta go. Just, just give it a little longer, okay? How about we all talk about something on the lighter side? So, Mia, I heard you're in love with another guy. What the fuck, Ruby? You told her that? This is what I'm talking about. Keeping secrets from each of you? It's exhausting. So how the hell did this happen? And how long has it been going on for? I thought you and Adam were perfect. I really don't want to talk about this. Especially not with you two. Come on. Yeah. Never know, that might actually give you better advice than me. Fine. Um, it's been this way for... About a year now, Adam and I are fine. We love each other, but when Adam looks at me, I can tell that he loves me, but he doesn't like me. Like the other night I mentioned to him, what if I quit my job and I started selling my paintings and he just laughed and blew it off. Now granted, I, I wasn't 100% serious, but what if I was? So, who's the other guy? Someone I used to work with. I tried so fucking hard not to fall for him, but still did. What a sad joke. He's everything I've never had. Okay, so go tell him how you feel. It's a bit more complicated. He's also in a relationship. Uh, what a fucking mess. You know, this is exactly like you. Falling for someone that you can't have and then expecting everyone to feel sorry for you. You're such a fucking asshole, Zoe. Look, I say, take some time before you make a decision. Were you not just listening to anything that she just said? I mean, it's pretty clear what she has to do, for better or worse. I mean... She needs to talk with Adam and this other guy, and more importantly, herself. And Luna, you are the last person who should be giving relationship advice. Take it easy, Zoe. No, no, it's okay, let her go. I miss hearing her amazing input on other people's lives. You want to parade around like some happy-go-lucky hippie, but the truth is you're the most fucked up out of all of us. Zoe, come on. No, this is what you wanted, isn't it? You know, Luna, you're so full of shit. 
Like you're in open relationships, not so you can feel free, but so you can be in control so no one can actually hurt you. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? You're absolutely right. After my dad cheated on my mom, I did change. I decided right then and there, I wasn't going to live my life for anyone but myself. You know, the difference between you and me, Zoe, is that I can forgive you for not being there for me, but you can't do the same. You know what? You're going to spend the rest of your life thinking to yourself, why is it so hard for me to keep friends? And when you do, remember it's because you're fucking miserable. You're so bitter about everything and everyone. God, it was exhausting being your friend. I am really sorry that things didn't work out with your dancing and with Joe, but that isn't any of our fault. I wasn't looking for anyone to blame. I was looking for my friends. You know, after I left Joe, all I get from you two was a bullshit text asking if I was okay. That's it. Five years of being best friends and that's all I get? I'd fucking rather be miserable than know you two. God, fuck this. I'm done. So wait. You want to know when I knew we weren't friends anymore? When anything good or bad happened in my life and I didn't want to share it with either of you two. Like, we haven't had a genuine moment in over a year and now you want to wipe the slate clean? No, I, I won't do it. Like, I'm doing the same thing I did with Joe. I'm closing the book on the past and I'm moving on with the future. I don't need you two anymore and that's okay. It's okay. Ruby, you know I love you, but it's time for me to go. Uncuff me. Please. Don't give up on us. I'm not giving up. Just moving on. Now what? No idea. You guys can go if you want. Um, I love Zoe, but I realize now she has no intention of forgiving you two, so if she's okay with that, I have to respect it. At least she got everything to say off her chest. Now she's gone. I'm willing to wipe the slate clean, if you are. Well, it's, it's like you said, Ruby. We can either fix it or we can move on. And I'm not ready to move on quite yet. I love you guys. So can we please take off these damn handcuffs now? You know, Zoe was right about you going after what you want, Mia. Luna, I don't know if I can do that. Mia, you can do anything you want. I'll do it. But only if you guys come with me. Of course. Give me a second. I'm going to step out. Hey.